All right, when your phone rings and it looks like it's a familiar number, we're likely to answer it. But when you don't recognize the voice and realize it's a scam and that the number actually belongs to somebody else, what happens? You've just been neighbor spoofed and you gotta be careful. On the other end of that familiar looking number, more and more it turns out to be a scammer. Right. Right. Trying to steal your money and has already stolen someone else's number. If you call back, someone else answers. Hello? Who in this case is actually in Western New York. Uh, no, this number just called my phone. That phone number was spoofed. It happened to Chemo Brandon. I blew it off. But then a few days later, I started getting a couple more telephone calls from people that, hey, you, this number just called me. We, we, we didn't call you. The difference is Brandon owns a small business, Sugarbush Armory, tucked away in the rolling hills of Attica. Some people who got the call were not happy. It's absolutely annoying for the person receiving it, but it's also frustrating for the business owner who's getting their number spoofed because people are making phone calls and misrepresenting you. And that's a concern for, for me as a business owner. What's worse, in the coming year, industry insiders expect nearly half of all cell phone calls will be scams. It's ridiculous. If the technology exists to spoof the number, the technology has to exist to be able to block it. Some state lawmakers say cell phone carriers can actually determine what's a real call versus what's a spoof call and block that call. Thing is, they say they're not using any of their own technology because of possible legal action and regulation that stops them. Federal controls a lot of this, so I'm just trying to do anything we can on the state level. Senator Chris Jacobs is trying to get legislation passed statewide, removing the chains from cell phone carriers to stop robo and spoofed calls before they even get to you. So you think it'll be handled though this year? I do, yeah. Okay, meantime, right now on WKBW.com, you can take action for yourself. I've given you all the tools you need to install third-party filtering apps on your smartphone. And then tonight at 11, you'll actually hear how spoofers are trying to lure you in. This is really important so you don't waste your money. Yeah. And frankly, keep your sanity. These are so annoying. And the numbers often look like numbers you know, like you said. You think it's somebody you know calling. Right, and that's the worst part about mm. it.